Michael Murphy here. We're on Lake Murray. It's middle of summer. We're up in the river. We're going to do a little bit of flipping action. Uh, during the summer months, what I like to flip is uh, a paddle tail worm, specifically this new Rains paddle tail worm. What we're doing is just flipping it straight at it as is out of the package. I'm going to show you the setup real quick first. What we're doing is just flipping it with a quarter ounce weight. You want something uh, that you can swim, but you can also flip. It's a good action. We're just using a peg sinker. Uh, just, just a basic peg it. This is, I think, the six cents one. This right here is just a quarter ounce, the TG slip sinker, uh, black or green pumpkin, a four aught flipping hook. I like something just a natural color. This is a green pumpkin color. Sunline FC sniper. I'm using the seven foot two inch. This is the Team Loose Custom Pro heavy action. I like something that has got a little bit of backbone to it, but still somewhat shorter. I'm a taller guy. Uh, that you can still get in and around these docks. If you're a shorter person, maybe a six foot eight uh, or seven foot might be a little bit better length for you. For me, this is a seven foot two. Uh, the Magnesium Team uh, Loose uh, Baitcaster. This is something that I like having a really smooth reel. This is where you can splurge a little bit. For skipping, you want something that comes off the, the reel real nice, real free spin. Um, so make sure you have something that's a the high high gear ratio. This is a 7.8 to 1, but also you can go a little bit nice on, on this because you want something that comes off good bearings when you're skipping. When you're fishing uh, this worm, this is a worm that I like. It's real versatile. You know, in this, this era, you have so many, so many lures out there. Uh, by the time you fill up your boat with, with stick baits and wacky worms and, you know, you know, uh, paddle tail worms and this type of worms you end up with all sorts of stuff this worm will simplify it uh, you can fish this so many different ways you don't have to have five different bags of worms you can just take this worm and tweak it in so many different ways and then you can lighten your load of your boat so this worm right here if you want to you know buzz it across the surface you can just take it lighten up your weight and just or no weight at all and just clip it like that and now you got something you can just buzz across the surface as an agitator. Just have a, like a little ultra vibe there. If you want to just flip it, uh, just so it doesn't catch as much action and more of a rudder, it quivers through the water. I do this a lot during post spawn. Just kill it. I use uh, a lot of times I'll go up on my weight, like a 5 16 or a 3 8 ounce, and that just reel it real fast and kill it. This is more of a post spawn tactics and get more of a reaction strike for post-spawn fish or even pre-spawn fish coming into spawn. And then another thing you can do here, and I also Nico rig this, like in the early pre-spawn months out there in that deeper water, you can just clip it off entirely. And now you have a wacky worm, uh, or you can just fish it totally weightless. Uh, I do that a lot in Florida. So this worm right here has been real versatile for me. Uh, I know if I throw this worm in my boat, it, this is a staple for me now. I uh, just throw this worm on my boat. I, I know anywhere I go, I'm gonna be using this worm. I can tweak it however I want. So this worm has replaced a bunch of worms. So we're gonna use this today just as it is, right out of the package, the new Rains Paddle Tail Worm, and see how we do today.